Gopi. Gopi, who is the recently appointed coach on the Bangladesh hockey team. Gopi, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me today. Um, I just wanted to get your philosophy on the game of hockey. Uh, you're an up-and-coming coach. Uh, what are the winning factors in creating? Uh, sorry, what are the factors in creating a winning hockey team? I think uh, I don't know, mostly discipline. The basic must be very, very good, and the understanding of the game is the most important thing. I'm like uh, I'm learning. I'm still young. I am uh, on the process of learning to become better day by day. I'm learning from all the top coaches, yeah. and I'm looking at a lot of a uh, lot of games with uh, all the top all the coaches yeah. so who are most more uh, senior to me, and I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in, the, in the current game today, in the modern game, um, the drag flick is very important, so short corner is critically important. Uh, how important is it to have a specialist drag flicker? I think uh, all, everybody needs a specialist. Yeah. It's a, uh, winning and losing is depends on the flicker. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> and the goalkeeper. It's, yeah, it's a <laughs> goalkeeper defending PC and attacking PC is the most important thing at the moment, I think. Yeah. Uh, most crucial, let's say, like example in the World Cup, the uh, Australia uh, squad. <laughs> Chris Rio, yeah, yeah. 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 So that was a very it's unusual result. Yeah. So it's like, uh, for me, the most important element. Yeah. Of the so do you have a special program for developing your drag flicker? Yeah, but I was like, uh, I'm, I'm with Bangladesh team for 45 days with them. <laughs> uh, out of the 45 days, yeah. 40 days I was like training with them, PC, yeah. attack. Yeah, looks good. Like, uh, every day, every day. Yeah. So it's uh, for me, it's like uh, very, very important. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, we need to get shot corners also. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you had um, a selection process. I, I know you can't really say much with Bangladesh because you just handed the team. But normally speaking, uh, you you have your team, your squad, and you're down to the very last. You've got one position left, but two players. Yeah. How do you fill the last position now from those two players? How, what do you look for for that very last position? And usually, if, uh, if the last position will be like, you know, uh, for me, if uh, if I can get a younger player, yeah. a younger player who's similar with a senior player, so I might as well take a junior boy who will, uh, when I see that there is a possibility of them to grow up, yeah. so I'm going to pick them in. Uh, eventually they will come to, uh, most probably they will be better when I give them experience yeah. to, in, the, in the next level. <laughs> well, so far, looking at your team playing, they seem to be very motivated. How do you motivate your players? Oh. Uh, I make, uh, like, for example, in the, in the training, it's uh, always a uh, game tempo is very hard, yeah. and I make every day a competition, a small game competition. Uh, I make like a, a like a, like a every game. It's like a fighting game. It's like uh, every time three against three is a fighting game. If you lose, there's a punishment, and uh, uh, so in that part, uh, or if you win, there is a. It's a gift for you because uh, a certain weeks we have like uh, every every day we have a small game. Yeah. So every game whoever that wins they have uh, they have a position for the and end of the week there is a, a winner and loser and they they'll get some gift. So <laughs> I think like uh, okay. I think make it uh, interesting for them. So yeah. I think uh, yeah. that's really a good idea. Yeah. So you've uh, got. Uh, you've got your player, you've motivated him, you gave him his gift. Yeah. Sometimes these things are not going well. How do you criticize your player? So, it's it's human being, they're going to do mistakes eventually. But uh, every day you keep on doing this, they're going to improve uh, for me. So yeah, uh, yeah sometimes it doesn't go so well, away, but it's life. <laughs> it's life, 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 life. Like, I believe that uh, 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 sometimes uh, you can't expect too much. And you can't expect too low also, so moderate way, then uh, we will uh, eventually yeah. uh, go my way, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, the players these days are not just a defender or a forward, they can play forward, back. They, how do you develop the all-round player? So it's like uh, this game all from, uh, because uh, now everybody plays total hockey. Yeah. yeah, so I, I, when I went to, went to Bangladesh, I told them that 
there is no defenders, there is no midfield, there is no strikers uh, or forwards. Uh, it's like everybody has to play all positions. If you can't play in that position, if you are not, you are halfway here, halfway there, you know, you are not going to make it. Yeah. So, now at the moment, uh, uh, there are defenders who are playing in the midfield, and the midfield playing in the forward line, and the forward is playing in the midfield in, the, in my team at the moment. But they are not good enough yet, no. but uh, eventually, they will be there yeah. in the future. Short yeah. corner. Attacking short corner during the game, you see the bench, they will send out the instruction, we use the short corner. How about the defending short corner? Do you review the defending short corner live during the game and make those changes? Oh, so it's like uh, you, uh, in that situation, defending short corners is like uh, you already prepared. So it depends on uh, depends on the the goalkeeper because I give uh, uh, more more responsible to the goalkeeper to yeah. make a decision. They make the decision. So because okay. they have to because they are on the field, I can't like uh, and there's no time for me to say. Yeah. But the goalkeeper have more responsibility okay. to organize. Okay. Uh, because the first runner, the second runner, the postman, they all know their work. Yeah. But the goalkeeper is the most important. Principally, the goalkeeper yeah. uh, is the guardian of the net. Yeah. He has to yeah. decide. Yeah. Because he have to take care of the goal goalposts. Yeah. <laughs> so they they have to prevent that. Yeah. Uh, we have trained so much on the defensive, but still not good enough. But, uh, that okay. okay. Your player, when he receives the ball, what's the very first thing he should do? Oh, before. Before, before, yeah. before. is pre scanning. Yeah, so, pre scanning. Yeah. Pre scanning. Yeah. So, pre scanning before the ball comes to you, you need to pre scan where you want to go. Then the next is like, uh, there must be options. Yeah. I uh, always think. Uh, Always teach them whenever you get the ball, there must be people to give options at the back, at the side, and the forward line. Okay. So there, there must be at least three options for them yeah. to like uh, okay. to, 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 to outlet. Make, yeah, outlet. So that's only you. Yeah. Okay, your player now, he's scanned, he's got the ball, he's doing something with it, he's attacking, he's in the last 25 yard area. Do you have a, a rule that you give to your player about whether they take on the defender? Or whether they pass the ball back. Yeah, exactly. So usually, if, if, if it's a one against one, yeah. it's a Bangladesh team. One against one, they will go. They go. Yeah. Uh, you should go. You should use your skill. I don't want to kill any skills. Yeah. But there is a one against one. You should go. Okay. I don't. Know. You should if you're possible. If you think you're good enough to, because one against one is still killing people. Yeah? yeah. But there is another guy coming. Then two against one. So it's like a more more possibility for you to get to win, yeah. but there is one against one, it's yeah. uh, either a you goal, a good chance to score, or, yeah. or you, can something something. Yeah. 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 you can do something. So I think, uh, yeah. Okay, last question, because I know you have to get to your team meeting. Yeah. Um, you've been around hockey for a long time, we see a lot of changes in this game, yeah. in new, nearly every year. Even in the last 12 months, we have the, now the 15 minute quarters coming in at the higher levels. Yeah. If you could change one rule, what rule would you change and why? I think uh, I think uh, the reason uh, I think the reason why they say that the free is inside the dotted line, I think that's more dangerous for the defenders to get hurt. So I think uh, they should uh, take away that uh, yeah, the, the corners, the corners that we have at the yeah. moment, they put the ball on the 20, 20 meters. That is okay. Yeah. But the, any infringement inside inside the dotted line, yeah. they should take it out to the dotted line again. It's okay. more more proper and more uh, less dangerous. Less dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I think it's like that is really good. Something reduce the danger for the players, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well you've been playing very well so far with your team and um, let's hope it continues. I was pleasantly surprised since the last time I saw Bangladesh has been a good improvement. I don't know how much is due to you, but yeah. whatever you're doing, something is Sorry, working at least. Uh, so it's not me, it's the players they want to play. Um, I just like uh, teaching them, but uh, the players want to play or don't want to play, it uh, depends on them. Uh, they have a good players, they have good players, they, they just that uh, sometimes uh, they have a uh, tendency to be low, that's the problem with them. So, yeah, so, far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll